I built this miter saw station about six months ago and I absolutely love the amount of drawer storage this has added to my shop. Now this particular drawer is my most commonly used drawer. So a couple months ago when I got the Festool Domino, I was playing around with it and wanted to get familiar with it. So I threw together a couple of these little sliding trays uh, just to get familiar with the machine. And since having these two trays, I really like the added convenience. It gives you the extra layer of storage that it gives you in these somewhat deeper drawers. I've already got two trays in that particular drawer that you saw. Both of those trays are gonna go into individual drawers and I'm gonna make a couple more. I want a total of six trays total. And yesterday I spent some time in SketchUp designing and going through an exact cut list and layout diagram that I need for those particular trays. I find it much easier to get the layout diagram and all the planning done in SketchUp first it's more efficient for me and I don't end up wasting plywood due to uh, simple mistakes that I would make on pen and paper. My table saw has the rip capacity to cut a full sheet of plywood, but I find it much easier to make the first cut on the plywood with a circular saw to bring a much more manageable piece to the table saw. it makes sense to group as many of the same dimension pieces as possible. That way you can make the fewest amount of cuts to establish that dimension on the most amount of parts. And what I mean by that was the first two table saw cuts that I made established this long dimension for these bottom pieces as well as the long dimension for the sides. And because I made all of these pieces cut from those same two strips, I know that all of my side pieces, all of my bottom pieces are that exact same dimension. Now I cut more side pieces than what I need because once I have all the sides in place, I'll use the remaining stock to cut the front and back pieces for all the trays. I'm not trying to win a beauty or craftsmanship contest here, I just need these to work. So glue and brad nails will do the job just fine. collect myself from that, I'd like to briefly talk with you about the sponsor of this video, Lynda.com. Lynda.com is a leading online learning technology company that helps anyone learn software, technology, creative, and business skills to achieve personal and professional goals. Basically, it's an online learning website with an absolutely massive library of tutorials and courses to help you learn what you need to learn. Now, if you go to lynda.com slash JB, that's my initials, pretty easy to remember, you'll get a free 10-day trial with unlimited access to every course on lynda.com. Now, I specifically thought this would be of value to all of you because one of the most common areas for advice that I always get asked is how how to shoot online video. In the video section alone, Linda has over 500 courses and over 21,000 video tutorials. Use the link lynda.com slash jb for your free trial and know that this link is available for all of my friends around the world, not just the United States. Linda also provides content in German, French, and Spanish languages. Be sure to use the link lynda.com slash jb so that they know that I sent you. And seriously guys, be sure to check this out. I know that there's a lot of information on there that will greatly benefit all of you. I've personally been using it to learn Adobe Illustrator. It's absolutely fantastic. Thanks to Linda for sponsoring this message. Thanks to all of you for being awesome. Now let's get back to the project.
For the tray runners, I'm using three quarter inch plywood scraps ripped down to two and a half inches. And I'll just secure these in the drawer with a couple brad nails.